Hi guys, welcome to Matt Bayeski YouTube channel. I think I'm on day 18 now. 18 of my parasite cleanse and boy do you feel it. So this is mugwort mixed with sage. This is about three times a day. Uh, about two glasses like this three times a day so it runs through the whole of the body into the mind, into the brain, into the stomach and it clears and uh, kills the uh, parasites within us. Parasites are something that, as of late, I've been talking about because I've noticed a massive difference to my body. I've been eating, uh, I haven't eaten meat for over five years, maybe more. And in that time, uh, I've been eating as healthy as, well, I think I've been eating the best year of my life now, two years, I've been eating uh, all natural, organic fruit and vegetables, herbs, seeds, nuts, and that's it. It's been a, a, a really, every now and again, I'll have some fish, every now and again, but not always, so. But yeah, predominantly my, my diet is 99% um, fruit and vegetables. So even in that state, when I then went on to my, um, my last fast, which I did a couple of weeks ago, um, I then introduced the, um, I introduced two things actually. Um, something that they give to horses. <laughs> because that's a parasite cleanse, you know. And uh, oh my God, oh my God. The pain in my head, the headaches I were getting. I realized that when you try to cause harm to parasites which live happily in the body, and I'll talk to you about that in a minute, they then react. And that reaction is going to cause the body pain. Well, of course they are. They're gonna, make, they're gonna give you pain to stop whatever you're doing. But don't stop, keep drinking. So I'm not an expert on parasites, not at all, but I've studied and done a lot of work with people who have. So my knowledge of parasites is quite profound in many different ways. I try and break it down very simplistic for all of us because there's no point going into massive detail. You can go to other sites to that. But for me, some of the things that were vitally important, the bullet points were that there's different types of parasites that live in your body, big ones, small ones, huge ones. Some people don't even know they have parasites, not a clue. Oh, but they come out of the backside, not always, they, they sit in the brain. So the two places they like to sit is the stomach and the brain. They're the places that you've got to try and clear. Stomach, a little bit easier, brain, more challenging. So I started then looking at how Mother Earth, nature can give me certain things that can clear them. And I read so many reports of different types of um, oils, um, fruits, um, fruits being one of them, um, gosh, papaya. If you can crush the papaya seeds and put it into a smoothie and drink it, you'll feel it in the stomach. If, if, you, if you start feeling nausea, sick, it's normally a good indication that you've got parasites in the stomach. Uh, I really struggle with, with that, but I did it twice and I thought, woof. Um, cleaning the whole of the stomach, keep, keep, keep cleaning everything down there. So I sometimes go once or twice a month for uh, col colonics. It's fantastic. So that clears out a lot of stuff. If you've got candida, you'll see it as it runs through. You can see the little candida running through. Another good thing to get rid of um, and reasons why. These are all, uh, all of these things cause reactions to the body that you name yourself. I am this, I am that because my doctor said so. No, you're not. What you really are is what's inside your body which is causing that, which could be, again, it could be, like I said, just look at your tongue. Is it shiny white and, and got this disgusting furry white in the morning. Well, that normally is an indication that you've got big issues inside your stomach and you're eating too much sugar and all, lots of other things. So yeah, there's that. And then um, 
Yeah, I remember one day uh, David Avocado was uh, talking. Um, a question was asked by a friend of mine while I was listening to him live. And um, he didn't really have the answer. Um, but what he did say was, and the question was, how can we clear parasites from the brain? And he said it was a great question. And I think a lot of people will say the same thing. Don Tolman, Tyler Tolman, all of, all of these people who study all of this um, cleansing the body through uh, natural water process cleansing and, and all the other stuff that they do. It's hard. It's not easy, guys. It can take a long, long time. So I then went on a quest to find out how I can get rid of these. And I'll tell you why in a minute. You're going to say, well, what's the big deal? I don't, I don't notice anything. Well, you don't notice anything because I haven't told you yet. Wait till I tell you. It's amazing. So first of all, I studied um, as many different um, roots, um, herbs, and plants, trees, and certain trees that give off certain fruits and nuts. And I came to the conclusion that the the, the best one for me was mugwort. So I hunted for it, couldn't find it anywhere, couldn't get it anyway. Eventually, I hunted and hunted and we found it. We found it. So I ordered 120 kilos of it. So I and five other friends started taking it. And um, I then put sage in there for some reason. Don't know why, it just felt right. And then I gave it to everybody else. And then they said, oh, wow, with the sage, it's just, it's brilliant. Yeah. So that was my tea. That was my, I think, uh, second tea that I made. Um, I made another tea, which is called a detox tea. That's for people who have put um, stuff inside their bodies that they wish they hadn't. So um, there was another one which was called uh, Wormwood. Wormwood was, again, very challenging to get hold of. Um, and I just couldn't get it. And I thought, this is a good one as well. I can feel it's a good one. And then there was the um, false yellow head flower. Again, nightmare to find. Um, but hopefully in these coming months, I'll be able to get them. And you will too. And then you'll start drinking it and heal yourself. Now... There are other ways of healing the body from parasites. So why am I talking about parasites today? Well, right now, I'm feeling more... When I look out of this window, I see the colours more. I feel more. I sense more. My intuition has gone through the roof as of late. I, I just feel so much more. Not always a good thing, by the way, but it's, it's like a, my intuition is far greater these days. My anger has nearly totally gone. So my knee-jerk reactions are not the same anymore. I feel more pain because of what I'm seeing in this world and suffering, but I'm more alert and more aware. So what's the difference between two weeks ago um, and today? Well, I did tell people that I can't believe that when I'm in a shower now, I can actually lift my foot up and balance with soap in my eyes and can wash my foot fully balanced. I couldn't do that before. I had to lean on summer. I have noticed it because you notice things when you clear the brain of parasites. And I'm thinking, whoa, my balance is brilliant. So I tried the other foot just to see if it was just a fluky day. Perfect. My balance is perfect. It's incredible. <laughs> so if your balance is perfect, that means everything up here is perfect. It means that your, your eyes are perfect and your brain is more balanced. Just like if you've got dyslexia and dyspraxia. If you, if you practice balancing on one of those uh, balls with a piece of wood, when you get off there after 10 or 15 minutes, you're able, your, your dyslexia disappears. It's not the same anymore. So it's all about balance. So could it be, could it be that overeating of sugars and all the crap that we eat, non-foods, could it be that we are feeding parasites and parasites are actually stopping us from being who we're meant to be? So I've just said to you that my, my reactions now are completely different. I feel like a different person. 
honest to God. I don't feel um, down in any way. I feel sad, but I don't feel down about it. I see things and it upsets me, but it's not the same upset. It's not the same emotion or reaction or feeling. It's incredible. Um, okay, Mark, that, that's all said. So to, to tell me, what, 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 how do you know if I, I've, I've got parasites? Well, do you sometimes feel as if you want a chocolate or an ice cream or a sweet and you just feel the urge for one? Do you sometimes feel the urge for, I don't know, a curry or something? You just feel the urge for it. It's an urge feeling. It's like I need it. It's not like something that feels right. It's like I need it. It's almost like a desperation. It's a different, slightly different frequency than saying, oh, I, I, I think my body needs some food. I think I'd like some vegetables and fruits. No, it's like a need for something. It's a different, it's almost like an addiction energy feeling. That's parasites. I, I want more sugar in there. Well, you've got two sugars in there. Why do you need three? Because I want more. That's parasites. You getting angry over something that your mum said or your dad said, you get even more angry. That's parasites. You get frustrated with life. You get down easy. You start to feel worse and worse. You start to feel what's called depression. You get worse. That could be coupled with absolute parasites in the brain and the stomach. Do you know what I could go on and on and on and on about why you could have parasites? But let me tell you something how clever and powerful parasites are when they live in the body. They ain't going nowhere. That's what they say to you. You can do what you want, but I ain't going nowhere. And when you do try and take me out, I'm gonna take you out and I'm gonna make you suffer. That's the truth. That's how clever and powerful they are. So when I started with this, um, I'll say it, ivermectin, and I had some, and I mixed a small dose and I drunk it. I started getting this terrible headache now it says um, cause, uh, it says after effect uh, could be headaches. No, it's not a headache per se. It's the, it's the killing of parasites. And when a parasite is in danger, just like um, a skunk, um, just like any other animal, like um, an octopus, it spurts out a toxin that actually causes effect to the brain. That's my truth. That's what I feel. I don't know how they do it and what the toxin is. And I, I, I don't get into detail, but I know, whoa, they're fighting back. And that's how it felt for those five days of being on a water fast and just mixing in uh, the tea and a bit of that stuff. I did that for five days. After that five days, I have never felt as balanced, as healthy and as good inside and out. And that is the truth. Parasites also, which you probably won't know, but maybe you do. They, you are the host for parasites. So basically, they're in control of you. So they spend their life telling you what they need. They tell you what they need to eat, what sugar, what they, they, they'll tell you all the things that you need. And you will eat it. You will drink it. Okay. So when you eat and drink, you feed them. So then they're, they're okay with you. The moment that you put something inside you like mugwort, it goes inside, runs down the body, goes all over the body and then runs into the, the brain and the parasites go, oh shit, where do they say that first of all? It goes down into the stomach Soon as it hits the stomach, the parasites then send messages to the other parasites in the body, in the brain. They send messages because they are they're, they're, they're all connected. So they're so clever that they send messages saying that there's somebody trying to kill them. So the other ones then prepare and do certain things to try and stop it. This is how powerful they are. You are a host for parasites and you need to think about this. What you need to do is starve them. Starve them of what parasites need to eat. If you clear meat out of your body, you will clear the parasites predominantly. If you clear fish out of your body, you will clear 
parasites much more easier. If you go on a water fast, you will find that there is nothing for them to eat. But then if you couple it with things like mugwort, then you're, you're doubling the effort. The flower, the yellow false head flower, I don't know the real name for it, but um, there is a, a Latin name for it, Dis, disco something or other. Anyway, that is the most fascinating one. Because what that does, it's the only one out of all of them, it suicides them. They kill themselves. As soon as you drink that and start working it through your body, they kill themselves. So that's just really incredible. Blows me away. So I'm looking to find that. I'm looking to find um, wormwood and uh, pray that I do. And when I do, I'm going to create a new tea with all three of them in. So that should be fascinating. Um, I guess that's it. I love talking about uh, anything that helps healers. And I think right now you've noticed that I talk a lot more about physical than I do spiritual. And it probably uh, bothers you that I'm not really talking my real truth, my, my understanding and my experience over the years. But I can only share who I am and what I am and how I'm feeling from day to day. And I think it's vital that all of us clear parasites. So there's a lot of uh, kickback from that because the reason why is when I share this kind of information, it's very dangerous information because if you can clear out your parasites, then you will be free from disease. You won't be sick anymore. You won't feel ill. You won't because your immune system will be so strong that you won't suffer. Any illness disappears because parasites hold us back into the energy that gives us bad eyesight, gives us bad balance, makes us feel angry, upset, makes our body feel ill and sick in so many ways. It does. So many illnesses are contributed to, uh, contribute to parasites. It's true. Go to Don Tolman, okay? Go to uh, David Avocado. Speak to these people. Read, research, ask them for tips and help like I did. And you'll find that You'll find your own pace, you'll find your own balance, and you'll work it in the way that feels right to you, without pressure, without pushing anything, nice and steady. And I don't know, you, you might get a little bit obsessed like me, and I am a bit obsessed because I'm feeling better every day. I mean, for God's sake, there's nothing wrong with being obsessed when you are getting better and better and healthier and healthier. It makes so much sense. So... Yeah, do I look tired? That is because we're in such heat right now in Spain. This is the, the time, July and August, middle of July to the middle of August um, is always sweltering. I've got a fan going, I've got a big fan down there, but sleeping is always a little bit challenging in boiling hot heat. I don't have air conditioning units because they just affect me and I think they're awful and they're not good for me. And I don't mind the heat, but sometimes it's a little bit more challenging to sleep. So I look a little bit tired, but I'm not. I've never felt better in my life. Somebody said I, I looked like I was crying yesterday. <laughs> no. I've never felt as happy inside and out without trying or wanting to prove anything or show people. I'm really, really balanced inside and it's a great feeling. It really is a great feeling. So today, if some of you choose to come, um, I have a, an online Zoom private closed group. Uh, it's only a small group. Uh, I don't know if there's any tickets left. There might be one or two. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So it might be full. I don't know. Anyway, it, that's going to be tonight at 7 o'clock Spain time. So basically, I'm going to read the cards, uh, talk about our next three months, see where we're going, see what's happening, see what we can do to improve our life and, and make it better. And then I'm going to do a beautiful healing session for those who are uh, who are going to book on to, um, to this beautiful Zoom reading and healing. Have a great day, guys. Wish me luck for tonight and love you all. Take care.